In the wake of a violent brawl between hot dog vendors last month, San Diego police are now stepping up enforcement against sidewalk vendors operating in the gas lamp. That's right, all vendors have technically been banned there for months. Officers are now handing out hefty fines. Police say this will increase safety, but as CBS 8's Richard Allen tells us, not everyone is in favor of the crackdown. Well, that's right. Starting tonight here in the gas lamp, those fines will run $200 for a first offense, escalating up to $1,000 for repeat offenders. Now, this comes after weeks of outreach, education, and warnings by police to street vendors here in the gas lamp. Tonight, there are no more warnings. It will be citations. This sweep comes after city council in May specifically banned sidewalk vendors in the gas lamp, East Village, and parts of Little Italy. Police say they want to cut down on potentially violent situations as a large number of people gather around a small cart. People are jostling into each other, and it leads to pushing and shoving and fighting. Yeah, yeah. This comes a couple weeks after an incident outside Petco Park when hot dog vendors from Los Angeles set up where local vendors usually sell, leading to a brawl and stabbing. Police say it also creates quality of life issues. If you have a cart and you have 25 people gathered around the cart blocking the entire sidewalk, you're congesting not just that corner, but now you're forcing people into the street. And vendors appear to have gotten the message, keeping a low profile Friday night. Although many San Diegans say most vendors don't start doing business until the early morning hours when bars and clubs start winding down and restaurants have already shut down for the night. Everything's closed by midnight, so they're out here just making a little quick buck. San Diegan Vinnie Hendricks finds this crackdown unfair. They're not out here during the day, so they're not in the way of other businesses that actually sell food and stuff like that. I feel like it was only a matter of time, to be honest. These women who work in the gas lamp are also supporting the vendors. I think that's unfair to them because obviously they're just trying to make their money. Um, it's good business out here too after the clubs close. I think they should start cracking down on them. But these visitors from New York back the move to step up enforcement. You got to clean up the streets a little bit. You can't have people bothering you like while you're walking down and trying to hang out and have a good night out, you know. And police are serious about this crackdown, along with those escalating fines up to $1,000. After the fourth offense, police say they could impound a street vendor's cart.